Okay, let's take a look at our price action here this morning uh, at 8.30. So, 8.30 this morning, we had CPI news. CPI news. We talked about uh, doing a break retest of what? Of this level. 45.05 was our market profile. We had a triple stack of low value area right at this level. Or is it 45.05? Right before the news, I said 45.05. The reason being, we had support here and that was our low value area on market profile so the mark the news came out it broke it retested got the targets off on on that one for traders that captured the first wave down then we were looking for what we're looking for additional moves in the market and the big one that came up that i talked about in the trade room that happened next was this failure trade we actually got back inside a profile we jetted back inside a profile, inside this stacked area of 4,500, and look at what happened. Now, once you get back at the outer zone, we look for only two things. We're looking for a slingshot trade, or we're looking for a failure trade. So, we end up getting the slingshot trade that did not solidify because the oscillator did not get into our bull zone. It's got to get below minimum of 40. And what I say, I said, look for a failure trade. Failure trade is developing. A failure trade is when this large oscillator, it gets above. The large oscillator gets above right there. It got above 65. Once it gets above 65, look for the red bar reversals to get the counter trend traders in. And right there, that first green reversal is the failure trade. So... Clay, good job picking that up. Uh, 09 a quarter. Clay said he popped in that trade at that level at 09. And it got as high as 17 for an 8 S&P point potential push. Then what the market did is it came up at this level. And this is why at this high, I was saying we're looking for another failure trade to the downside. What I recognized was our smaller Renko size. Right here, our large oscillator got below 40. Well, what happened? You get the counter trend traders coming in because the oscillator is breaking down, because the big trend's down, a couple green bars, first red bar reversal, that's a failure trade to the downside because that large oscillator got below the 40. The one thing I want to show you on failure trades is this, though, and this is the key. When this trade came up, oops, let's get this off here. When this failure trade was developing, I was talking about it on the microphone this morning before it popped in. Before that green ball reversal, we were already in, I said, look for a slingshot trade on the 13. What you'll find on these failure trades, right, when you're in this outer zone and you have the oscillator above 65 and you get that green ball reversal, what you're going to find, your 13 is in a slingshot mode. So your 13 is actually was in a slingshot there. Because a small oscillator, we don't take this. I said live in the room, we don't take this trade here because we're looking for a slingshot. On your first ways, look for a slingshot. Let the small oscillator get below 20. Come back up through the bear zone, minimum 65. Let it shoot through. So this failure trade actually goes with the first wave. Okay, we got a failure trade happening right now in the market here. That's a failure trade in the ES. That's a short just like here was a short right at the high. So this is a failure trade on the 13. Short right there against the zone. That's why it's called a failure because look at my large oscillator. It's below 40, so you can take that as a failure trade also. So there's a failure. There's a failure. This is a first wave with a failure on the 20. So it works out quite well. In other words, when you see this 20 come up, I love to see I love seeing failure trades off the 12020. Because when you get to that outer zone, only two things can happen. And Aaron, good job pointing this out in the room. I said, what two trades are we looking for? We're looking for a slingshot or a failure when price action is right here. Right? 835. What are we looking for? Well, there's only two things can happen. Either you're gonna get a slingshot where that small oscillator right here gets below my bull zone of 40, start shooting through it. If it doesn't, because that large oscillator is above 65, that first green bar reversal is a entry.
Sure enough, goes for it. Market comes down, and we get into a slingshot trade up. If you wanted it, it was inside profile at the time, but this is a slingshot trade up. Look at the failure trade that's working right now in the market that I pointed out. Look at your failure trade. There's your fill, plus or minus a couple ticks, 45.14. It's as low as 09. That's five S&P points again. Keeps moving down. This is another failure trade right there. Failure because my large oscillator is below 40. My threshold, look how it got rejected. We did 30 years of back testing on this. So we know these are really good levels of play off. This 40 and 65. That's how we figure out these slingshot trades failures. Look at this failure trade just rolling down. We gave you guys heads up in the room before this started happening here. Now we're in a possible failure. And she's moving down. Now she's down to 0 9 a quarter. So, in other words, look how, if you're going to trade off a smaller Rinko size like this, a 113.13, use the slingshot, the small oscillator, to get below 20 up through the bull zone, our bear zone, for buys. And then let it, right here, get above 80 and down through the bull zone of 40 for sales if you want to do the failure trades. If you want to get right on the red bar, green bar reversal on failure trades, that's what I like to do on the 20. I like to take it right when she reverses the first green bar. Right there was our failure trade that produced a nice little move in the S&P. Then it goes right into a slingshot. A small oscillator gets below 20, jets right up through my bear zone, and she cranks to the upside. Now we're in a failure trade, and the market's cranking down to the downside looking for a 45.05 target. All right, when you do these failure trades, I got about four or five videos on these failure trades. They are one of my favorite setups in the room at my zones. These zones have been back tested for 30 years, so we know our zones are very, very accurate. Look how with news, CPI news, comes up, comes down to my zone, and explodes off my zone with a slingshot. Remember, when you get to the outer zone, it can only be a slingshot or it can be a failure trade. Nice failure trade to the upside. Good job, you guys who captured it. All right.